What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. So glad you could join me in the studio today. We have a very special video for you today. The hand warming mug. <laughs> so this tutorial, we're gonna go through how to make this hand warming mug. Be warned, if you make these, they will sell and people will want to buy them forever. And when you decide they are annoying to make and you don't wanna make them anymore, you'll still have people asking for them for years and years and years. I know this from my experience. I made these uh, a few years ago and people are still like, can you make those hand warmer mugs again? And I'm like, I don't, I really don't want to. You have been warned, make hand warming mugs at your own risk. You know, I, I don't even really sell them anymore, so. I just want to teach you how to make them for your own good. They're so cozy, like your hand just fits right in there. Can you see that? <sighs> this one has a Minnesota on it, but this one doesn't. So your hand just fits right in there. It's kind of like a, it's very huga. Huga. I kind of designed my own way to make these, so I have no idea if anybody else makes them like this, but this is how I make them. They worked great for me. I may start making them again and sell them for like, a thousand dollars, okay, well, not a thousand dollars, but I might sell them for a lot. They're just, they're not my favorite thing to make. The basic version of how you make this is you throw, so I have some that are ready to, to make so that we can get on, we're gonna get on the wheel, I'm gonna show you how to throw the shape, which is like this, and then we make a cut in there, and then we put like a slab that we cut that fits in there, in there, and then we like join that, and then you kinda just like, Anyway, so I don't even really remember how I came up with the idea of how to make these. So make it your own risk. We're gonna get on the wheel. Let's do it. We start with anywhere from one and a quarter pounds to about one and a half pounds. So a little bit more than you would normally have for a, like a mug. Basically, we just wanna throw that shape where it's pretty tall, Got it gets a little wider and then kind of comes in from the outside. So let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, are you just so pumped to make one of these? I think it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, so we're starting off by just centering it just like we normally would. Check out my five tips to centering clay video if you need to know how to do that. Then we're gonna come down and then we're gonna pull up, just like we would for a normal mug. All right, so we're pinching down here. And so keep in mind, we do wanna keep the walls just slightly thicker than normal because we're cutting into the clay. And so you're actually gonna see the wall exposed. So just make that simple cylinder first. So then we're gonna take the rib And if you watch my chair, I don't use ribs very often because I like leaving the throwing finger marks in there, but for this one, it's kind of nice to get it really smooth. All right, that's about it. We'll take our wood tool. There it is. So that's probably five inches tall. So then we'll let this dry a little bit. We don't have to, we could actually do the slit right now, but then we're gonna make a slit that looks kinda like that. So, I'll show you that as part of the next step. Centering the clay helps to center you. where the project gets tricky. So for the rest of this project, we need slip, we need some clay to make slabs, we need a scoring tool, and we need a knife. So, if you don't have a scoring tool or a knife, you can find those in a link in the description below. But, so for the slab, so we'll, first we'll do the slab, right? So I'll just wedge this up really quick. 
Then we're gonna throw the slab out. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a great video about throwing out a slab. So once again, we don't want the slab super thin, but we don't want it super thick. So we're looking for the Goldilocks thickness, which is just right. That's probably enough for our, so we have our three that are we just threw, so those are too wet, but then we have these four, which I threw a couple days ago. Tricky, tricky. Now we're gonna take our knife, trusty knife, and cut this slit into the mug. We just want it to be a nice curvature like that. And then we'll go from the inside, push that out, and see how that is like a pretty even thickness. And then we'll push this in. And so this needs to be at a point, like if you do this when it's leather hard, that's too late. So it has to be before that. I mean, you can even cut it into the ones that you just threw, but I like to do it just in one step. So these are still pretty wet. Wet enough that we can kind of form. There we go. So we got our piece. Our hand fits in it. Remember that the clay will shrink, so you want to make sure that there's extra room. My hands are pretty big, so shrinks down to a normal sized person's hand. So obviously it wouldn't work right now, right? So now we have to cut a piece out of this slab that we'll put in here and then we'll join it. We'll join it on this side and on this side. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. Got our four hand warming mugs done. So now we're gonna turn to the slab. And so for this slab, you know, I tried a lot of different shapes when I used to make these all the time. So I found the best shape, that on the top, that on the bottom. Something that looks like that, right? And we want the thickness to more or less match the thickness of the thing. If it's a little too thick, you can always throw it out a little bit. Like that. All right, so then basically this piece, we're gonna stick right in here. That's basically what we're gonna do and then we just need to join the edge here and join the edge over there. So if you stick it in there and it sticks up that tall, it's probably slightly too long. You want it to just be about the right size from bottom. Now I'm gonna take my scoring tool, I'm gonna to score just the edges of that, right? So then the edges will go in, and then I'll also try and score, this one's kind of typical to do, but you can try and just score along right in there. And then score, just kind of like make it up, score along there too. See that, so it's scored there and then it's scored across. Then we'll take our piece, we'll take some slip, add some slip to the edges. I mean the slip really helps the clay like lock together but it also makes it provides it with a little like lubrication. So now we're gonna slide that right in. Basically we're just going along and and trying to join Join the seams. And so you can have one hand in here, right? Like you normally would. And you can have your other hand just be forming it. And this is why I really stopped doing this because this part takes a while. It's kind of annoying. If your hand warmer mugs aren't at the right uh, consistency, then it doesn't really work very well. So you wanna make sure that you're joining from in here, that you're joining on this side and that you're also joining on this side. And you wanna make sure you go all the way down to the bottom because that's one thing that I had trouble with sometimes is I would 
it would actually leak out of the bottom of there because I didn't join it well enough from the bottom. So sometimes I would actually even take some slip and just put it right in there to make sure that that's sealed in there. So yeah, basically then you're just joining. You can make, go along this, make sure that this is like nice and smooth along here. And then basically the rest is just cleaning it all up. Clean it up from the inside, clean it up from the outside, take a sponge, do all that stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna change the camera angle around and then uh, do a little time lapse with some different angles so you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. I bet you're so pumped. I bet you didn't even finish watching this video because you're so excited to just go try it on your own. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot that. You can also make these left-handed by, and so these are obviously right-handed, so you put your right hand in there, but if you just cut the slit the opposite way, then it would be left-handed, so you'd be able to slide your left hand in there. So I've had people request for me to make lefties too. So make nine rights and one left, and then you fit the world, right? We did it, we did it, we turned a piece of clay into something that people love that I despise making. They are cool. They are cool when they're done. People love them. So, yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Comment, like, share the video. You know, if you have other pottery fans and you want them to make one of these for you, share it with them. Yeah, comment below if you have any questions. If you have any comments, are you gonna, what do you think? Are you gonna try making these? Are you gonna tell your friends who are potters? that they should make these for you, because they are awesome. Anyway, I've made quite a few of these in my life. Uh, in the last two years, I've made uh, what you see in front of you, right here, these two. So, these are the only two. If you're around Minneapolis, I'll be at the Mall of America Throwing Pots on December 8th. Uh, if you want to, I'll have a bunch of pottery for sale there. So, if you wanna make a trip to the Mall of America, I'll be at a place called Four Post. It, just look up Four Post when you get to the mall and we'll take you there. It's a bunch of brands, like local brands. Um, it's gonna be super cool. So I think that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching it. You know, this is probably gonna be a super long video, but it's kind of a complicated, like, wheel throwing and hand-built combo. So, all right, see you in the next one. You're the one putting the holding tank in next to that new uh, garage that we're moving over to the new pad. And yeah, I think that whatever, yeah, if you got the permit and you wanna get it in before the, the winter's getting real cold, so that's fine. Um, just go ahead and pick the permit up and we'll get her going. So yeah, give me a call uh, if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.